Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and His Excellency, the Deputy President, and the First Lady, and the family of the late General Logola, and all protocols observed. I stand here on behalf of my family, the family of the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, uh, on whom I represent as the chair. <laughs> <laughs> now, the late Ogola here was, uh, is our maternal uncle, and our mother comes from this village. And therefore, we come here as relatives of Ogola. I also come here to bring condolences of my brother, Jacob Raila Amolo Odinga, who has sent me to come because he is a bit indisposed. He could not come personally, but he has asked me to come and represent him and the family. So I also want to uh, bring condolences of Uhuru Kenyatta, the former president of Kenya, His Excellency, who has also brought his con condolences to the family. He is out of the country, but he has uh, asked me to bring his condolences to the family. Now, I would only want to mention one word after saying words of condolences and sympathies to the family, I would just like to say that the, the death was an accident, but even though it is an accident, in this region we have had many such accidents, and we have also had assassination of leaders from this region. So when such things happen, we are a bit suspicious not because of anything, but we want to know the truth. We want to know the truth. And uh, I want to ask our uncle, the general's son, not to be impatient with us. It is not because of anything. It is just because once beaten, twice shy. So, we are asking for no stones to be left unturned and let us know the truth of who killed our uncle, General Ogola. He was a, he died too soon and we are a bit shaken by his death. And uh, you know, you people know, we lost Tom Boyer in very tragic circumstances. We lost Ouko in very tragic circumstances. And when we lost Ouko, I was part and parcel of the team of parliament which was investigating the death of Ouko. And I can tell you it was very sad because the regime at that time managed to convince the family to be very protective and not to allow people to go into detail. So young man, please just allow investigators to do their work. Now, with those very, very few remarks, I would once again want to wish that our uncle is uh, rested in peace in heaven and let the Almighty put him in the best place and was one of our best sons, one of the best sons from this area. We wish that he, the Almighty puts his soul in peace and let his family also rest here and we shall be with you all the times. Thank you very much. <laughs>